and we're going to look at the basics of an MC4 platform today and we're going to go over seven things real quick briefly just to show you uh, the essentials of MT4, MetaTrader 4 and what you need to know. So the first thing of course is how to download it and right here this is after you click on the download link for the MetaTrader 4 platform something like this will come up you'll click on run and then run again I'm using an FXDD uh, platform for the example today and whichever broker it is uh, you'll have a similar process come up like this I usually name it something a little easier to remember I'll just name it FXDD MT4 click on next here and now it's installing and alright so finish and now what's gonna happen is the MT4 platform is gonna come right up and we're going to take a look at six other things from there so seven things today the first one is how to download it and the second one is gonna be the navigator I already have two demo accounts here so we're good to go uh, okay so the navigator right here towards the to the left towards the middle um, we have what's called the navigator in the navigator you'll see um, your accounts on that MetaTrader 4 platform you'll see indicators expert advisors and you'll see custom indicators in uh, scripts here in the navigator um, so that is uh, very important to know if you have expert advisors on they'll show up down in here and uh, of course your accounts will show up here when you're logged in to them so that's the navigator that's the second thing we're looking at today and the third thing is the market watch first let me close out of these uh, charts right here we're gonna take a look at, at the market watch at the market watch you see uh, the current time the market watch time you see the different currency pairs and the symbol and then of course the bid and ask price at that current time the current bid and ask price show up right there in the market watch and if you want to open up uh, charts you can do it right from the market watch if you want to open up a euro dollar chart you can right click on it and just go to chart window and uh, dollar yen chart window dollar cad chart window and there we go there's three charts right there and you can open up whatever charts you want through the market watch so that's the third thing moving right along to the fourth which is the terminal uh, the terminal is at the bottom of the MT4 platform and right here we go we have the trade uh, tab the account history tab news alerts mailbox experts and the journal tab and those are the seven things in the terminal that you will find in the first one trade shows uh, current open orders or pending orders and the account history shows all the account history of your trading account of course news will show some news alerts mailbox experts in journal we have also we're gonna look at experts uh, a little more in depth in a second here so just real real briefly that is the fourth thing we're looking at today that's the terminal and um, that's very essential to know about and the fifth thing is I want to mention the crosshairs what are the crosshairs at the top left of the screen here um, right beside the uh, arrow cursor you'll see this um, when you put your mouse on it it'll say crosshairs you can click on it and you can use this to measure um, on your MT4 platform so say okay what do we have here a dollar CAD one hour chart if you want to take the crosshairs and measure what it is from uh, this high at one zero zero five down to the low way over here at the beginning of March uh, end of February you can measure how many pips it is and you can see that the price at that target at that place and of course um, the first number is how many bars are in, in that time frame from there from that high to this low and uh, so that's the crosshair it's very useful for you and for your trading uh, that is the fifth thing the sixth thing is how to turn your expert advisors on and off so if you have an EA on your MT4 platform um, 
up here you'll see where it says expert advisors you can turn them on and off by clicking on that button and now the seventh thing is uh, the expert logs which is also concerning if you have an expert advisor running on your chart you can find them here in the terminal and uh, since there are no expert advisors on this chart right now um, there's not much here but if you're having any issues with running an expert advisor you can go to your expert logs and copy and paste some of them and send them to uh, support and then they can take a closer look at those to find out what the issue may be so those are the seven things I wanted to show you today the basics of an MC4 platform I hope it benefited you and if you have any questions let us know